It is how best to support, um, which is a great question and also a question we get all the time. The first thing I would say about how best to support is that there is absolutely no right or wrong way of supporting somebody with an eating disorder and you learn as you go. Um, what the question to ask yourself is, um, has what I have just done or the way I've had a conversation, has that worked in some way? Has that made the situation calmer? Has it made the situation easier? Have I communicated what I need to communicate? Have I, um, have I allowed my person to open up to me um, about their eating disorder? And if you have, great, keep going with that. If you haven't, well then try something different. So there's no right or wrong, and it's not about um, you know that there's a right answer out there somewhere. If only you could find it, then you would know what to do. It's absolutely not like that. Every family has to come up with their own way of supporting their person. It's about becoming an expert at your person's eating disorder, not at everybody's eating disorder. So that out of the way, then there are two other really crucial parts um, when you start thinking about supporting somebody. The first part is, to think about the eating disorder as a coping mechanism. The eating disorder um, as a coping mechanism helps the person to feel that they can cope every day. We all have coping mechanisms, we all do things that make us feel that we can get through our day. And when we think of it that way, if somebody came along and said to us that we had to stop whatever it is we, we do, like our cup of coffee in the morning or whatever it is, um, we would also get defensive and feel like um, we don't want to stop just because you're telling us to stop. So the idea of an eating disorder as a coping mechanism is really helpful because it tells us and explains to us why the person um, finds it difficult to change. The second thing um, to remember in terms of supporting somebody is to try to separate out the person from their eating disorder. If you make the eating disorder an it um, and not the person, then you can both talk about it. It reduces the blame that the person feels. They know that you know that um, they don't want to be behaving this way or that they will, they you know, would like to not have an eating disorder. Um, and it also gives you a way of keeping communication lines open, which um, is the other really important thing about supporting somebody, is to try and keep lines of communication open. Because at the end of the day, um, we want the person with the eating disorder to be able to talk to us about what's going on in their head, to get it out of their head and into words, and that will help us all um, towards recovery.